a YouTube community. This uh, video, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about a new ebook that appeared. Uh, it's called uh, Flat Earth Advanced. And, well, you may believe whatever you want. But what I really hate is when people start um, acting in a fraudulent way. If they manipulate data just to make their point and be uh, dishonest to anyone who looks at their data. And this book is a clear example of misguided and misleading information. It is so full of dishonesty that I don't even know where to start. And that is why I first focus on the first pictures you will see once you get into the book. Uh, somewhere around page 7, etc. You will recognize the pictures I'm going to use now. So, Mark Knight, the guy that is lying to you. And he's lying in such a freaking way that he is willing to manipulate drawings to make you believe that the earth is flat with false information. And the worst thing of all is he even has a chapter called Disinformation and the whole book is nothing but that. So go get the book and you can find it on his site and and let's have a look on some of the drawings he made. I took two um, pictures from his book and one shows people looking at the moon clearly seeing the same side of the moon and he took uh, or made a drawing where people actually see different parts of the moon and what I find interesting is that this angle seems to be wider than this and that's strange because the wider the angle the better you would see a different side of the moon now wouldn't be wouldn't it be more logical that with this wider angle, here I should see two different sides of the moon, and here, where the angle is smaller, I would see, let's say, the same part. Now, to show you that the angle is indeed wider on this side, I can move this triangle here. and put it there. So you see, this angle is steeper, the angle is smaller than the, the blue one here, so actually this picture of the moon showing that you can see both sides belongs here and not there. Why am I telling you this? Because this is what he's doing. He is actually making the big mistake in all his perspective of his drawing that he shows people on a flat earth looking at the moon and then say hey look you can only see one side whereas here the angle is steeper it should happen here And you should see different sides of the moon here. Now, <clears throat> both drawings are pretty much completely wrong. <clears throat> because this does not represent in any way the distance to the moon. And also, if you believe in a flat earth, this does not represent it. But we'll come to that later. Let's have a look at why this is a complete wrong mis um, interpretation of the reality. Also a picture of his book is this. 
and he has two people standing there looking at the moon and then he says you should see different moons but this is in, in no way in line with reality this is what it looks like and then it doesn't matter at all where you stand you basically see always one side of the moon or on the globe and I took the picture we've seen before tilted it then made it so that I have here as you can see the two persons still on the earth that is now equally sized to that so he's fucking putting the moon here and then he says look you can see two different sides this is fraud this is fooling everybody who is interested in a serious way in a flat earth you may believe what you want I don't care if you believe in a flat earth but don't mislead people with this shit this is really dishonest this is yeah sorry I, I fucking have no words for this you can make any proof if you do manipulate information like this it doesn't make any sense actually I'm going to do something uh, while I'm uh, editing this op or opening this because it doesn't make sense at all to start a second video simply to make it look nice um, we're going to uh, open a, a flat earth file I've made Uh, this is a, a, a model which is uh, completely according to the uh, what, shall, what shall I say the, 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 the data from the Flat Earth Society so 25,000 mile diameter uh, Flat Earth um, a radius of um, 12,500 uh, with the Sun uh, on average yeah, the going around at uh, 6,000 miles and looking up and as you know from the same uh, rules that apply um, the, the moon is basically also on the same height and has the same diameter as the Sun and if I now would put two people on this flat earth you can see that one is actually looking at this side and another one is looking from there to the back side of the Sun or the moon so he is misleading you completely it is um, fraud this whole book is filled with fraud with wrong presentations of everything it is one big lie and we'll pick out some of the others um, probably another video but for now I think it is more than clear that the excuse or what, what they say on the flat earth you could see one side of the moon only and on a globe you would always see different sides of the moon that that is absolute not true only on a globe you can always see one side of the moon and on a flat earth you would be seeing front or back uh, of the moon depending of, of where you are so uh, Mr. Mark Knight do your homework better or take your book offline because you're misleading people who might have a serious interest in a flat earth thank you